Hi! In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Performance Panel inside of Mixcraft. The Performance Panel is an awesome tool for live performances, DJ sets, or doing some improvising in the studio while you work on a new track. To open the Performance Panel, we'll go up here to the top and click on the Performance tab here, or you can use the P key on your keyboard. As you can see here, the Performance Panel is a grid, and each of these is called a clip. A column of clips is referred to as a set, and a row of clips is referred to as that track. The performance panel offers a unique way to work with music because you control these clips independently from the arrangement window as you would when you arrange a song over here. What this means is you're not restricted to working with a linear flow of parts. Instead, you can mix and match different loops and clips on the fly. If that doesn't make a whole lot of sense yet, don't worry because it will shortly. Let's begin by adding a clip to our first track. If I drag in this drum beat here, you'll see that it takes up one slot on this set, and it corresponds to this first audio track. To play this sound, I can click on the play sound button here, and then to stop it, I can use the stop track button here. If we add another clip, we can play both of these by triggering the entire set. Then to stop each track, we could stop the tracks independently, or stop the entire performance with the stop all button here. Let's try it out. If we add another drumbeat here into the second set, you'll see why this is unique because we can trigger the drumbeat from the first set, then the drumbeat from the second set. As you can imagine, this is a pretty powerful and fun way to work with different clips and loops. Now, let's fill out our performance panel here with some different loops to make a full track. Here, I've set up my performance panel to have a bunch of different tracks. First, I've got a set of drums, Next, a set of percussion loops, a guitar, and then a bass. What makes this really fun is we can mix and match clips as I demonstrated earlier. Let's begin by adding the set 1 drum beat and maybe the guitar from set 1, then the percussion and bass from some of the other sets here. So as you could probably tell, this is great for performing live or improvising with some new ideas. So you could take sections of your song and bring them into the performance panel and then use this to come up with maybe a B section or a new section for your song. Another great feature of the performance panel is being able to record clips directly into different slots. You could do this for both audio and MIDI tracks. Here, I've created an Omni sampler with a set of bongo samples. In this case, what I'd like to do is add some bongo loops here that I could use in this performance panel set. To record directly to one of the available slots, we'll arm the track and then click this record button here, which arms the performance panel for recording. Here, you'll see each of these slots gets an individual record button. If we record to this slot, we'll get a count in based on our metronome settings. To adjust those, we can click on the metronome here and adjust our recording count in measures and make sure it's checked. In this case, we'll get two bars of a count in and then it will record. The length of the recorded clip is determined with the record setting here at the top. In this case, I'm just going to use two bars. Now that we have this set up, we'll have a two bar count in and then it will record a two bar loop and stop automatically. Let's give it a shot and record a bongo part. And as you see, Mixcraft automatically stopped the recording. Just like any other clip, you could double click on it to open the sound editor, and we could use this to quickly quantize the MIDI performance by using Control A, going to MIDI editing, and quantize. Now let's play that clip back and take a listen. So this is a pretty cool feature, but you probably want to record that part over the set playing underneath it. Let's delete that part by clicking on the top of the clip and using delete. Recording a clip over a set works largely the same way. We'll play the entire set with the play button at the top, then click the record button for the slot we want to record to. From there, it will record two bars and automatically stop the recording. The only difference is the count in is determined by the cue setting at the top here. In this case, let's change this to two bars, so we'll have a two bar count in and then record two bars worth of a loop. 
Let's give this a shot now to record a loop over the set. And there we go, we've recorded a two bar loop over the set playing. Now we can go into that clip, select everything and quantize it quickly, and we should have a nice bongo loop that plays over that set. Let's unarm the track and play that set once more to take a listen. Another great way to work when recording virtual instruments into the performance panel is to use automatic quantization. To enable this, you can go to the drop down next to the arm button and under automatic quantization, select a quantization value. I'll use 16th notes here. The arm button text will turn yellow to let you know that this has been enabled. From here, we can arm the track for recording and record our part. And you'll see the part has been automatically quantized, which makes this very fast and easy to work with. Pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead and record some extra bongo parts here, and then we can start utilizing the performance panel with a specialized controller. What we have here is a Novation Launchpad, which is a push-button style controller that allows us to interact directly with the performance panel in a really unique way. Before we can begin using it though, we'll need to configure this device inside of Mixcraft. To configure the launchpad, we'll go up to the top and click the Preferences icon. Next, within the Preferences, we'll go to the Control Surfaces area, and under the Type, we'll select Launchpad. There's also quite a few other controllers, so if you own one of these, you can use that instead. Once we've selected Launchpad, we'll need to set the inputs and outputs, so we'll go to the Input and set this as the Launchpad Mini, and the Output and set that as the Launchpad Mini. Now that we've set this up, we can hit OK. And you'll see on the launch pad, it changes over to this view. As you can probably tell, each of these lights corresponds to a clip in our performance panel. So if I trigger this first clip here in the top left, it will play the first drum beat from set one. And we can stop that. Similarly, each of these orange lights triggers a separate clip. Let's try this out by playing the entire set by clicking the top button here. Where this really becomes interesting is using it to play different clips from different sets. This way we can improvise and create something entirely new on the fly. Let's give this a shot and create a new track in a live performance using the launch pad and the performance panel. And it's as easy as that. After you've configured your controlling device and set up your performance panel, you can actually record your performances directly into Mixcraft to write a song in this fashion, which is actually pretty cool. To do that, within Mixcraft, we'll go to the performance panel and select ARM. This arms the entire performance panel to play as an instrument, and it will record into the arrangement view. To begin recording our performance panel, we'll go down and hit record or R on our keyboard, and then we can record our session using our launch pad or by manually triggering the clips.
With all of that out of the way, this is a really fun way to work with loops and audio inside of Mixcraft and quickly create new ideas on the fly. By now, you should have a good understanding of how the performance panel works in Mixcraft, how to add your own clips, recording clips directly to the performance panel, and utilizing push button controllers like the launchpad. And I think that does it for this video, so thanks for watching.